Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Last time, we finished up the first world that we went through as Riku, which was, I did Neverland, I believe. And now, we're going to go through the next world, which is going to be our 10th floor, or basement 10th floor, whatever you want to call it. We're working our way upward toward the first floor, I guess. And if we're working our way backwards through Kingdom Hearts 1, or shall we say... Uh, the first ten floors. I don't think that's possible because I th believe the Atlantica was the next one. So I guess we're just going to have to go off order and I'm going to pick uh, Agrabah. I don't know. I just I, I, I just decided to just YOLO and pick whatever, you know. Anyways, um, obviously I will show one battle at least. I don't know. Maybe one room. Maybe the first room. I don't know. I don't even want to show the room, honestly. Like, if there's going to be no cutscenes, I wouldn't even want to show anything with the boss fight, to be perfectly honest. I mean, you know what Agrabah looks like. You know what enemies we're going to fight. So unless something crazy happens, cutscene or random battle, I don't really give a shit. And I would rather just show the boss fight and the cutscenes. I'm trying to get through this fucking part of the game in the least amount of episodes as possible. Just for the sake of you guys and myself, I just don't want... I just didn't want this LP to linger on for too long, you know? I wanted it to be over, and I didn't realize we were going to have to play basically the whole game again as Riku. And while I'm not really complaining about it, I'm just saying it's a thing that I was not expecting, and thus I must work around it as efficiently as I can while still experiencing the rest of the game. So I'm trying not to sell myself short and just and actually experience the rest of this game as it was meant to be experienced whether it's a hundred percent what I'm feeling right now or not I want to get it done I don't want this shit to linger I don't want any extra episodes to have to be like oh I'll get to it someday sometime sometime later in the future anyway now I'm talking over battles that I said I'm probably gonna cut out see you guys at the boss fight I'm assuming there will be nothing until then All right, looks like we're going to get thrust right into a battle as soon as we walk in the damn key to beginnings door, just like the last floor. And guess who we're going to fight? Probably the same shit we fought before. Is it Mr. Jaffer? It looks like Mr. Jaffer. Hey, Jaffer. How's it going? So one thing I haven't mentioned uh, is I found out. No, I don't remember if anybody really mentioned this to me. I think somebody probably did in the comments. But I also found it out on my own just by trying to go into the menu and look at the deck. I found out, big surprise, um, that, what am I trying to say? Found out that you cannot switch Riku's deck at all. You can't change the order, you can't choose the cards, you can't do a goddamn thing. Now, I kind of figured that that was the case, since it didn't really tell a shit about the deck at all. I figured it would you know, let me know if you were able to change shit. So, anyway, the point is, we gotta kind of just roll with what's given to us. We can't change the order, we can't do anything, so we just gotta live with what we got. And work around it. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta work around that shite. It is what it is, what it is, what it will be. And there's all the more reason to get HP with this guy in this in this playthrough um, or over Sora's because of his lack of healing abilities. You should have more HP. He has high defense, which is nice. But having more HP is a very nice thing. Alright, one thing I also learned is we have some slides we can do with Mickey, which I figured we did, besides the ones where we just stack Mickey like I just did right there. We actually have one we can do like this, called Holy Burst. Hey, that's actually pretty cool. I like that one. I'm going to do that again. That was a useful move. I'm going to do that again. Beat Iago's ass. Iago, what are you doing? That's a bad bird. Come on. Ah, oh, man. I'm having a hell of a time. I'm having a hell of a time hitting this guy in this battle. And there's no like Mickey. What do you call it? The Mickey Mouse head ears card to make the battle a little easier. Look at Iago, where are you at? Wait, there it is. There's the Mickey Mouse card I was just complaining that I didn't have. Well then, there you go. And that's gonna be the game, folks. Cause we are, all we right now have the darkness, and I didn't even realize it. It's game the fuck over for this shit. Game the fuck over. Just kill him, please. What the? Kill him! Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Is this happening? You gotta be kidding me with this. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, come on, man. This is an easy battle. Don't fuck around. Kill Jaffer. First try. Alright. 
probably going to get this card, and then we're just going to move on to the, the exit. Wow. We're probably going to do two floors in this episode, and it's probably going to take me over an hour. It's going to be silly, but at least it'll make us only have one episode out of it. I'm okay with that. Like I said in the beginning of this episode, the faster we get through this shit, the better. And by shit, I just mean this whole, the rest of this game. I, I'm glad that it's a little more fast-paced just in general. I don't have to fucking level up Soros. I mean, he level Riku, you know, he's leveling up fast. Combine that with um, just the fact that you don't have to worry about the deck. So that's, you know, one time-consuming thing of switching around the deck to be convenient for what you're fighting. You don't have to do any of that because you don't get to. Simple fact. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to talk while I walk back over to the exit. whoop de freaking do It's going to take a minute. Um, but yeah, so that's one nice thing that I don't have to worry about in terms of planning and being strategic. Just got to be good at using Riku's cards. Because you can't change them at all. You're pretty much stuck with what you got. I've been trying to fight every battle in every room. As you saw in those last two rooms I just passed through, there was a couple that I didn't kill. It's not like I left the room completely full and just walked right through it. I have not yet done that, so don't worry about that. I am still making sure I level up a reasonable amount as I go. Don't you worry your pretty little heads about how high level I am and whether I'll get wrecked later by bosses that I'm sure gotta pose some sort of challenge. Even if I can't change my deck around, I'm sure I'm gonna have to get good at using all of Riku's moves. I mean, I'm okay at it so far, but I haven't been amazing at it yet. Not that I was ever gonna be amazing at it in the first place. Anyway, what the hell am I doing trying to use a damn card, make this into another room? What are you, crazy, bruh? I don't even know why I break shit open. You don't get Moogle P, you don't get any extra cards. There's no reason to break open anything unless you need health. Don't even know why I bother sometimes. What I will do is I'll save it right here. Because we're here, and we're ready for a cutscene. Are we gonna get a boss battle in between floors? I don't know, maybe soon? I, I hope so. I don't know. If not, then we literally will do a whole nother floor in this episode, probably. Which is fine with me. The faster we get through it, the better. The faster we get through it, the better. Better, 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 better. Alright. We're off into the next floor. The next floor, here I come. Unless we have to fight a boss, and then we'll fuck him up or her. Oh, looky, looky. I take there it he your is, Riku. you son of a bitch. Are you with Ansem? You are half correct. Let us say that he is not the Ansem with which you are familiar. He is Ansem, and he is not Ansem. Perhaps a nobody best conveys the idea. The hell are you Riddles even talking about, bruh? Thing. Try again. Yeah, exactly. He belongs to neither the light nor the dark, but walks the twilight between. Oh. <laughs> Catching on now? Oh, yes. You also stand in between the light and the darkness. It appears we have much in common. Maybe. Like you said, there really is darkness left inside of me. But so what? Darkness is my enemy. And so are you for reeking of that awful smell. Oh, -ho, so it's a fight you want. Well, then. I guess we'll have to fight right, Vexen so now. Here we go. Okay, then. Never mind. We're not going to the next floor yet. Depending on how many tries this takes me, we may just be doing this for the rest of the episode. We shall see. Maybe we'll get it on the first try. Let's hope so. <sighs> like, we haven't fought this motherfucker enough times. Anyway, here we go. I'm sure he'll be easy. Oh, ah, yeah. I was say, I'm sure he'll be easier on the first try here. Just because he's motherfucking douche. Use my ability to break him. I must break you. Oh, shit, don't fucking don't fucking nine attack me, bitch. Nine attacks not a lot. Oh, Dark Firaga for the win. Oh, come on, don't be break. Oh, 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 I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up royally. I'm sorry. I needed to use those nine cards to my advantage, and I lost all of my darkness power because of it. I am an idiot ho. Ah, dude. All right, I'm probably gonna lose this first attempt. Oh my god. I keep fucking up, guys. I keep fucking up. Stop! Ah! Whatever. Ass. That's right, your majesty. Fuck him up. Oh, come on! Why did I combine that with such weak-ass cards? Eat 
shit. Break that, you fuck. Gonna break it with a zero card, isn't it? No. I'm gonna die. I don't even care anymore. I fucked up so hard in this one. I don't even care right now. I don't even care. I fucked up so hard. I, I just fucked the shit out of that one. I can't even believe how badly I effed that up. That was atrocious. Alright, let's try that again. I got bad habits in my brain from the way I've been playing as Riku. I am not even playing strategically. Like, I don't know, play the counterattack game like I did with Sora so well. And yet, here I am just bum-rushing the hell out of this motherfucker and getting my ass kicked. Let's try to actually try this time, A. Eh? I also gotta pay attention to my zero cards. I need to use them at the right time. They're kinda... I wish I could just rearrange the deck. I don't even care about the cards I have to use. I just wanna rearrange it a little bit, man. That's all I want. That's all I want. Alright, well, whatever. Let's be a little smarter about it this time. Counter only. Counter only. Shit. Use a zero. Fuck. Oh, and we got the darkness out of that. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Eat Farago, bitch. Come on, bitch. Get some. Oh, no, no. That's bullshit. You ass. Fuck. Damn it. Can I please? Please stop getting fucking locked in his shit. You're fucking irritating the shit out of me. Don't you fucking zero card me, you whore. Dude, I am upset that he keeps fucking locking me into his shit. Pissing me off. Like, where I still get hit even though he's fucking, like, too far away and shit. Fuck your shit, bitch! Oh my god, I keep fucking up. Oh my god, with this. There it is. Okay, we at least got two hits out of that one. There it is. Dark Hiraga is so good against him. Alright, hold on. I want to Mickey this motherfucker. Mickey Mouse this motherfucker. Inverse burst, bitch! Oh yeah! Mickey Mouse motherfucker. Now don't you ever forget the name. Nope, don't you dare. Boom, motherfucker. Oh, I didn't even hit him at all. Well, at least I hit him a little bit. Let's go ahead and use Mickey because he's going to heal me up a little bit. Or not. Fuck! That's right, bitch. Get wrecked. Alright, that's not exactly the combo I was trying to use, but I'll take it. He healed me, and he fucking... What do you call it? Whatever he just did to him. Oh, triple what? No, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad! Ah! Fuck! Son of a bitch. Not good with Riku's cards yet, man. I need to do better. You need to be better than Funky. That Funky. Funky, you need to be better than that. You need to be better than that, my friend. <sighs> Our first real challenge on Riku's playthrough. Not that Hook wasn't a bitch, but at least he didn't have a lot of HP. This guy's got fucking five bars worth of it, so we gotta be extremely better at what we're doing than what we've been doing and stop being such a noob cake. And utilize my darkness a little better. That first couple times I had the darkness in this one fucking wrecked me. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Fuck your zero card. Seriously. Fuck your zero card, you bitch ass hustle. No. Bad vexing. No! Ugh, ass. Don't you fucking dare do that again. Do it again. Fucking asshole. Alright, here we go. Fucking ass! Mmm! Like, I try to use my car, but he already has me in his little fucking combo. I can't block shit. Shit. Fucking ass. What? Why am I not comboing? Oh my. Fuck you, dude. I totally combo your ass. Fuck your shit. Have a holy burst, you bitch. Alright, now. Use that. Healing. Try to break that, you little bitch. Eat some shit and die. Here you go. Alright, that was as good as it was gonna get there. There we go. That was pretty good timing on my part. Come on, bitch. 
Don't be scared. Nope. Ah. Dude, I'm trying to fucking use a zero card. Right, whatever. Fuck your shit, bro. No, what? Ah, he zero carded me, you bitch. Kiraga, bitch. Now, have some inverse birds, ho. Damn it. Alright, well, at least we fucking. At least we fucking made him all jacked up. Eat shit, bitch. Eat shit, bitch. Have a bunch of Firagas to your face. Ow. Oh shit, we're out of. We're out of. Oh no. No! What? Erg! Aga chaga laga baba. Well then, I know what we're doing for the rest of this episode. At least it feels like fuck shit. I don't even want to cut because this is stupid. This is stupid. I should already have won this. Why is this being so fucking. Why am I so shitty? I'm being so shitty. Stop being so shitty. I got this, man. I fucking... Ah. I keep using up all my cards with combos. I need to be better at not using up all my fucking cards. I need to just block his shit normally. But the problem is he keeps hitting me and getting me locked into his stupid fucking hits when he he's just doing regular physical attacks and he keeps getting me. And I'm, I'm trying to even counter him and I'm still fucking it up. So I need to stop that shit as quickly as possible. Get, I need to get good, homie. Get good. No. Bad Vexen. Get the fuck back. Oh my. Why would you zero card? I don't understand. Who the fuck zero cards right the fuck after I already hit him? Seriously? How is that a good idea? Like, it makes sense to use it after, like, before I hit him or, like, during a fucking long combo or something. But no, he uses it like, oh shit. Use a zero. Ooh, that's the time. That's the timing right there. Fuck your zero card, bitch. Boom, bitch. All right. Do it again. Do it again. Say it again. That's right, bitch. Block that shit. No. Bad, Vex. Fuck yo shit. All right. Do that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Block that, you whore. Ha-ha. Ah, oh, fuck. I missed. Whatever. Fine. That's right, bitch. Oh, I'm just gonna mash the fucking attack button. I don't even care right now. Don't even care right now. I'm just gonna fucking mash that attack button. Yeah, he fucking wrecks, dude. Go fucking Riku. You are the fucking shit right now. Look at this shit. Wrecking shop right now. Holy fuck. How the hell did that even just happen? I don't know, but I'll fucking take it. What the fuck? I just used a zero card. Are you fucking kidding me? I totally just used a zero card. What happened? My zero card just like disappeared on me. Or it didn't work. I fucking mashed. I didn't mash the X button, but I pressed it at least twice. Bullshit. Anyway, as I complain, I win. So fuck you, Vexen. And your stupid face. But somewhere along the way here, he's going to take a clone of Riku, right? Is he going to do that right now? Or is that just like completely side thing that he does for when he's fighting against Sora. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> I find coursing through you there is a darkness of formidable power growing. Well worth the trouble of aggravating you. All this excitement has provided me with invaluable yeah, data. Yeah, see, there you go. Invaluable what? data. <clears throat> Many thanks, Riku. Yeah, see? He was just using that as an opportunity to fucking clones or like you know, get data on Riku that makes sense now all right so that's done now then what next another cutscene first we gotta go to the next room let's go to the next room let's see if we get another cutscene or we might just get to go to the next floor and uh, yeah might be a thing well, I guess we're done okay should I go through this next fucking room I mean I kind of want to I gotta be close on an episode, though. If I'm past 20 minutes, which I probably am based on the fact that I fought that guy for at least 10 to 15. Uh, I hate that we're doing shorter episodes, but I'm also okay with it since, whatever, you don't have to spend as much time watching one episode of me walking through and doing nothing. So, whatever. In the next episode, we'll go through the ninth floor, which is either gonna be Monstro or Traverse Town. I'll probably save Traverse Town for after we're done with at least monstro either way i'll make a decision next time see you guys then peace -a!